Sashrikal, welcome back. So today we are very excited. I'm finally going to show the house that we have actually bought for ourselves. Our very first house in Canada. So here we are and there you go. It's sold and it's ours and this is exactly what our house looks like. I'm going to show you from inside. So it's very cold outside. So let's go inside and see the house. All right. So we have just entered into the house. This is the entry pathway of the house and uh, as you know that in Canada you have a proper pathway when you enter a house so when we enter on the left hand side uh, we have our powder room. Uh, powder room in Canada means again a washroom. Uh, it has not the full washroom like it does not have the bath space but then it has a pot and uh, you also have your uh, washing hand washing area. So this is actually called two and a half bathrooms in your house and this is not called as bathroom or washroom it is called as a powder room in Canada. So coming ahead we have this pavement where you can just remove your shoes and uh, there's another door in here. This is basically your on here. Oh. This needs to be fixed. <laughs> All right, so this is basically our garage. So this home has what do you call it, Sahil? When you enter in garage, in garage, there is something which is there is a specific term to this that um, the door which connects with the garage. Yeah, now. so there is something which is called that the from inside itself you have the garage connected uh, from the inside of your house. All right, so. Now we have come ahead and again another door, so too many doors to see. So again can be used for various things, maybe putting in your shoes, jackets, another closet and when we come on the other side, very nicely done kitchen, I think a full fledged size kitchen that is something uh, which is a must for anybody who loves cooking. So again nicely done. I, another thing which I loved about this house which you should also consider when you're buying one is how old and which company's appliances are installed. So this one has Bosch in the entire house. Sorry, brand new. Yeah, brand new in, in the entire kitchen. So that is something which was again one of the winning points for me that it has Bosch. Entire kitchen is of Bosch appliances whether it's fridge, refrigerator, uh, microwave or the what's this? I dishwasher. Think, yeah, the dishwasher. So yeah, and another one thing for my husband because he's the one who washes the utensils. So we have two uh, separate. Sinks, step, separate sinks. And another good thing, this house comes up with a filter. So you have uh, a filtered, filtered water, water at all from times. the tap. Yeah, very nicely placed. A lot of space to put your stuff for the kitchen. And now again, this kitchen divides from with this wall to the... Um, hall so that is something I really like there's privacy in the kitchen if there are guests outside so it's not like an open open concept but kind of an open concept so this area is our living space basically so we will be changing this setup again this is staged so this is not our furniture this is uh, something which was kept before we bought this house maybe for the owners or something so yeah very nicely done uh, dining room you can see drawing room sorry and very nice windows another selling point for me now that you know so far that i love well ventilated homes with a lot of you can see already a lot of it's not a sunny day still it's very well lit. it's a very snowy day yeah so still you can see nice airy uh, drawing room it's not dingy it's not dark that is something that we love about this house come a little this side you have your door, I don't want to open it because it's too chilling, but I'll show will. you. This is a so, little patio which we have. Yeah, this is our backyard. And the good thing is, if you see all around behind this fence, this entire area can be used as your personal space, as a park. So uh, you can take your kids around, you can take your dogs out. So yeah, hopefully you'll get a pet soon, if not sooner. And uh, yeah. Come towards the side and we have our dining room and our realtor Julian is just roaming behind me and hiding himself. <laughs> so, but that's okay. <laughs> so, okay, so this is our dining room and uh, uh, it's good space to put in a dining table for six people. So I think very nicely placed home and that is something that we really liked about this house. And now I'm going to take you to the first floor where we have all our bedrooms. 
All right, so this is the first level that is uh, in Canada. Sara kuch jo hunda hai, uh, family room and everything is down, kitchen is down, there are no bedrooms down. So on the first floor, now we're on the first floor, you have like 10 steps. You come up, you have this area, which is uh, now we're going to show you the bedrooms. Before getting from the bedrooms, you have like, this is very common in every house that you have a linen closet. So you can put all your bed sheets and everything in here. And uh, it's a good space to put your closet uh, linens. Then you have, when you enter, you have a bathroom, which is a common bathroom for two bedrooms. So full fledged, washroom which has a proper yum, and then nothing special pot and a bathtub so i like I, if you've seen my previous videos i don't like bathtub so we might make changes to it but it's nicely done as of now so i'll show you the first bedroom so this is the first bedroom and quite spacious very well lit so i think the best thing about this house is that you have uh, nice ventilation and uh, full sun coming inside so that is something I really liked about this house and nice bedroom size so this can be maybe your your child's room or your infants or baby's nursery room so which is going to be the thing for us for sure and uh, this is your closet again so again a full-fledged closet so which is a good thing so every room here has a closet which is a which is good. So more the space for storage, better it is for a house, right? So now we're entering into the second room. So this is the second room and uh, bigger than the earlier one. And again, nicely ventilated, good windows. So we will have a queen size bed here, planning to see how much are we going to put into this room. So this is going to be more of a guest bedroom or a bedroom for our parents to come in. Again, closet, full size closet and a nice one. So uh, space wise, there is no issue. A little bit space in here, but nothing much can be done because we have a door. Now I'm going to show you the best bedroom of this floor, which is the master bedroom. So this is the most beautiful bedroom. I think we got this house because of how big the master bedroom is. If we can just show around how big the bedroom is. So you can see how big the master bedroom is. That is what excited me about this house the most. So again, very nicely done windows. And uh, this is basically front facing uh, from the entrance of our house. So I like, I really like well ventilated homes and where the sunlight is coming properly. If you see this bed is a king size bed. So this room is pretty much big. It's very, very big room. So it's a full fledged king size bed. So if you put a queen size bed in here, the room is going to look huge, but we will also go in for a king size bed. Very big side tables have been put here. This furniture is not ours. This is a staged bedroom. What I mean by staged is that uh, this furniture is going to go out. This is basically just done to sell the house. So uh, while we come this side, again, a lot of room and space on this side. Uh, we can put your full fledged two side tables, a mirror, a vanity, we are planning to put a full closet here because the master bedroom closet is not that big. I think uh, other homes that I saw, they had much bigger closets, but this one has pretty decent for me, but not for him. So <laughs> we will get a closet for him and we're going to put it maybe on this side of the room. So yeah, I wish it had a walk-in closet like other houses that we saw. Now we're going to head towards the master bedroom washroom. Me. Nicely done washroom with a standing shower. This is the best thing that I liked about this house because uh, if it's, uh, I don't like tubs, as I said. So nicely done, very nicely uh, refurbished house. Everything is pick and span. So that is something we really liked. This property is around 15 to 30 years old. And, uh, but we saw homes which were like less than five year old and they were in a very, uh, bad uh, condition as compared to this house. So this house has been done beautifully. You can see the pot lights. This is all newly renovated in 2019. So everything is really new in this house. All the fixtures, all the lighting, all the switches, buttons, everything is done new. 
So we are now going to take you towards the basement and uh, stick around with me in this video. Okay, so this was all about the first floor, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Now I'm going to come down. This is basically headed towards the ground floor of the house, which I just showed you. And now we're going to head towards the basement. All right, so before we head towards the basement, I want you to meet the man because of whom we got this beautiful house. And uh, here is the guy. So let me just introduce you to him. He is Julian. So he was our realtor and uh, he made sure that we get a beautiful home. But let me tell you how quick we closed this home. We saw this house, Julian, on uh, Saturday morning yeah. and the offer was for this house on Sunday evening and by Sunday night this house was out so it is all because of this guy so Julian go ahead yeah and uh, you know what uh, Jaspri and Sahib you guys were incredible clients to work with uh, we were very pleased this was our favorite homes I think yes. we, lost, we saw seven or eight yes. different homes and this was our favorite we were able to close against 26 offers um, and like, like Jess Preet said, we saw it on the Saturday, we were able to close on the Sunday, uh, dream home, you know, great starter home for yes. you too. I know you guys are excited for the little one coming and raising the family. So, uh, we're yes. pleased we could help you guys with that process. So we haven't introduced yet in the video, uh, in my previous, previous videos that, uh, there is news coming in because, but now as Julian has already said, the little one coming in, so ta -da, that's the <laughs> next news which is coming in my future videos. So Julian, thank you so much. No problem. Uh, he was very nice and kind to show us eight properties in one day. We gave him a couple of hours actually. And then if you have any questions, reach out to us. Yes. We yeah, will be happy to connect you to true. Julian and Gino yeah. uh, together. And then, yes. uh, yeah, I mean. So yeah, uh, as Sahib said, so we can get you in touch with Julian. He is a great. Uh, Friends became realtors. Yes, so, yeah. exactly. We have been in touch with his brother and his team from past more than one, one and a half years since the time we have been in Canada. And these were the first guys that we got in touch to close our first ever home in because Canada. they've always supported us yeah and he was really nice like on friday we told him we kept adding properties as we kept seeing them and as they got listed and he made sure that we have eight properties to be seen all across hamilton burlington stony creek and uh, so all thanks to you julian and uh, now we are going to head towards the basement okay so now we are headed towards the basement 10 steps down and we have our basement so another reason why we like this house was because we have seen other houses where the basement was not finished. What I mean by finished is that they were not well done. So the entire finishing of the basement wasn't done. But in this house, everything is completed for us to just get in and put in our furniture. So I'm making this video more in English because I get a lot of feedback uh, from people from other countries that when I speak in Punjabi in between with my English, it confuses them. So uh, if you want this video to be made in Punjabi, once we move in, I'm going to make sure that I also make it this in Punjabi and Hindi mix. But I'm keeping this video categorically in English because I do have subscribers who complain and I don't want to disappoint anybody. So I'm making this video fully in English as of now. Okay, so when we get down and now that we have broken the news about the little one, so I get short of breath while I make videos. So bear with me, but let's get going uh, back to the house. So when we come down to the basement, we have again a full size closet. Basically, this ca this closet can be used for a number of reasons. Uh, you can put this as a jackets. We are going to use this, I think, as jackets for yeah, winter, jackets yeah. because I think Sahib says the moment we get down, we can just quickly grab our jackets and then move out. So that is what we are going to use. This can this. always be worked out though. Yeah, but because we do not have a lot of space on the ground floor uh, for the jackets, so we might use this for the jackets. And then uh, the place which I was not aware, what is this for? So Sahib again told me about uh, what is this? Basically, this is uh, this centrally vacuum, uh, yeah. which is installed in this house. Right. So this house, again, a good thing in which we did not see in many townhouses was that they did not have this kind of a setup. So over here, we do not require to have any kind of vacuums for different floors. So this entire thing, which is uh, centrally installed basically and uh, we can just use, we just need to plug in right and yeah. we can just keep doing our vacuum whichever floor we want to you can see these and every floor has a hose yeah. where you can attach this pipe 
and then you can just vacuum it. You don't need an additional vacuum yeah, to so These are the pipes the which are there. So we just need to take them anywhere and we can just vacuum. So this is something which is very good. I liked about this house. Okay. Two doors done, one more door to go. So they're very nicely placed, the storage, I guess. So can we just put the lights on? Yeah, yeah you go ahead, I'll put okay. them on. So uh, if you can see this, I don't know. Let me just put the lights on. Give me one second. So, showing you the other storage space that they have created. So, like Sahib, uh, my husband is also very fond of cricket and sports. Golf. So, golf, cricket. So, we can put all his kits in here. So, again, a good storage space. Not, no space is getting wasted. So, which is something I really like. Another door. When you see, in Canada, I see there are a lot of doors that they make. Instead of creating those closet doors, they make proper doors. So, again, this was another a game changer for us i guess this area because the storage size is huge this can actually become like one bedroom but then they have actually used the space for a lot of storage you can see how big this is so yeah this big yeah yeah so this is basically washer dryer you proper washer dryers from lg again they have fitted everything which is pretty new the house might be like as i said maybe 30 odd years old but they have actually kept it really well as compared to uh, other people so other houses that we saw okay so storage uh, sorry washer dryer you know stuff to wash and then your this is your furnace yeah conditioning and everything i think all the stuff for centrally air conditioning and heating yeah so he's the boss he knows more than me about all of this you can see i think this is yeah this is your water heater basically supplies uh, okay. water hot water to the entire house much recommended from reliance a lot of good feedback from reliance yeah. So, yeah so this is all set up so we cannot do anything about this this is always going to stay here again this this they have put really nicely all the shelves and everything here they're going to leave all of this here the shelves so again you can put your pantry stuff here uh, we plan to make this area as our pantry because um, you know as Indian grocery is we need to put all our pantry in here so I think this is lots and lots of space again a selling point for us so another thing that we got sold over on this house now I'll show you how well the basement is kept so if you go on my a little bit on my starting entrance of the basement you know this this area can be actually made like a little office work for, you know office space for yourself and uh, if you come towards this side, a big L-shaped couch has been placed here along with the rug. So we plan to make this room, mostly people in Canada use basements to make is as a family room or, you know, a recreational room, uh, more of a lounge kind of a, a area. So we plan to do the same thing. So we will be putting um, a big TV, maybe we'll do like a home theater, a big sofa. And uh, this place can be used maybe to make our little a small mini bar. Small mini bar. So this place we want to make like a you know a den for us to celebrate when our friends are over or we're watching the TV and everything. So that's about it. So this is uh, the tour to our home, our new house, our first ever house in Canada. Uh, I hope you like this video if you did please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and if you are also looking forward to buying a house uh, message in the comment section and we can get in touch with you our amazing realtor whose name is Julian and uh, do not forget to subscribe to my insta page as well which is Canada Diaries by Jazz there is lots more news coming in for the little one and for this new house how are we going to get into this house and what all expenses do we have to bear how did we bought this house i'll make sure i make videos on that so thank you so much for watching and uh, stay safe and god bless